All right, I want to go over the uh, start of the next assignment so that once you get to the point of finishing up the Angry Birds one, you can start working on this one, or at least while you're finishing it up, you can kind of start thinking about what you want to do for the next assignment. Um, so the next one is going to be a um, design one. This is the first part that I'm giving you, which is the, the dialogue here. And then the other part, which is on your canvas here, is the text. <clears throat> so there's a hyphens and dashes RTF, which is a rich text file. Uh, there's not really any formatting to it. It's just which window, document source images, how many windows? I'll just go to do a layer. And the, the um, text for this is not that long. Um, I've broken it up into <clears throat> basically like the different ideas and how you can kind of tell the story or how you should attack each area. <clears throat> so it says hyphens, n dashes, and m dashes are frequently used punctuation marks that are just as frequently misunderstood. All three marks are essentially horizontal lines, though their lengths vary as do occasionally their designs. Using one instead of the other would be grammatically as grammatically wrong as using a question mark instead of a place of a comma. The M dash is the longest, followed by the N dash, and the hyphen being the shortest. The M dash is used to indicate a break in thought, as illustrated in the sentence. The N dash is used to indicate a span of time or range. This is similar to using the words to or through, 5 to 8 p.m., Monday through Friday, or ages eight, uh, 3 to 11. The hyphen is used to divide words that break at the end of a line or connect parts of a compound word, such as bullseye, V formation, and freeze dried. So one of the... Um, the pitfalls of this assignment is making sure you understand this, right? So how many of you remember this from 1055? Okay, so this was a, an important assignment because it goes through some concepts that when you start creating stuff that you're going to get loads of text that people aren't going to understand. So the purpose of this assignment is that we're trying to break down some of these techniques and kind of reinforce them and make a little training that's a little bit more uh, fun to look at than just that piece of paper, right, or just that assignment. Um, so someone last semester, just to give an example, when we did their color theory, we said there's three primary colors, and the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue, right? When you mix those together, they create stuff. So he came up with red, green, and blue because the computer uses red, green, and blue for the screens. Well, that throws the entire thing off because now the colors aren't mixing together correctly, okay? So you want to make sure that right away you understand what each one of these things are. So if you need to read a Wikipedia page or the design page that you did years ago or whatever you need to do to make sure you understand the difference between the hyphen, n dash, and m dash, you want to make sure that you're doing that, okay? Even if it takes you an hour, two hours to understand it correctly. Um, so uh, once you understand it, then you can start to go through the script and start to develop the graphics and start to create the story of how you want to show off each one of these things. So something like this, hyphens, n dashes, and m dashes are frequently used as punctuation marks that are just as frequently misunderstood. Um, obviously, this is kind of like setting the stage for our animation of how we're gonna, what we're gonna be showing. So this is more of like a title card. So we don't need any crazy graphics here, but we do want to show something. Um, all three marks are essentially horizontal lines, though their lengths vary as do occasionally their designs. So here I'm thinking. Um, I want to obviously want to show each one of these things, the N, the M, the hyphen, and then I also want to show different ways that different fonts kind of interpret it. Um, instead of just being a straight line, sometimes they're kind of curvy, sometimes they're whatever. You can have different ways to show that off. So in my animation, I want to show different designs for each or different lengths of each, okay? Um, so that's what I want to think about. Now you have your audio clip too. So once you kind of have an idea of it, then you can start to use your audio clip. Now this is, I went into, we have a sound booth in the um, video room. So I went over there with my script and I recorded the script into the sound booth and then I brought it into Audition to kind of clean it up and edit it. Um, so this is the end result of it. I lied. <laughs> um, speakers, yes, they should be playing now. An M dash. An M dash. There it goes. Okay. So let me just turn my volume down.
Hyphens, N dashes, and M dashes are frequently used punctuation marks that are just as frequently misunderstood. All three marks are essentially. All three marks are essentially. Okay, so the stuff I just read, that's what I'm saying here. Each one of those sections is kind of broken apart. You can see uh, on this waveform where you can see the dividers, and those dividers are essentially each one of those pieces of text, okay, or each one of those sections inside there. Some there's a little bit of a break. 8 p.m. Like Monday here. through Friday. Monday through Friday. Yeah, there's a little bit of a break there, but right This is here, similar to using the This is similar to using the right here. sentence. The end dash is it is a break between the two sections, okay? So that'll just kind of help you kind of visually see where things are separated so that when you get in After Effects, you know um, how things are set up. Uh, just to give you an idea of where I got to this, this is my original recording. You'll see that the waveform is smaller. Usually that means, or all the time, that means that it's typically quieter than a bigger waveform, okay? Um, you can change some things in the sound booth, but when you're a one-man recording show, you can't jump back and forth too quickly. Um, so the first part of this, like this stuff, This is me getting into the booth. <laughs> Obviously, we don't need that in there. That just is a waste of time. So we can just highlight Hyphens, it. Hyphens, N dashes, and M dashes are frequently used punctuation marks that are just as frequently misunderstood. <clears throat> we don't need uh, throat clearings, so we can remove any throat clearing. Right. So to go through, and I clean up anything that obviously isn't part of the script. Um, several times I mess up, and those mess ups are usually found right at an abrupt Using halt one instead. Using one instead of. Here. One instead of. I messed up there. So again, just kind of deleting off all the stuff that we don't need and then leaving a little bit of space between these areas. Inside of After Effects, we can cut these things up and layer them however we want. And that's kind of how we want to do it. Uh, with something like this, we could go through the script and just lay it out like we have a minute. I could lay out the script in one minute or however long this is, uh, a minute 40. Um, I could lay it out in a minute 40 or so um, and get it perfect as, as much as I want. Actually, let me see what the end one is. Yeah, the end one is just under a minute, yeah. Um, so I can get it exactly a minute and be locked to that minute. If this was a commercial, this was something else. But if you want to have time for some of your animations to get on screen and show, we'll be cutting it up inside of uh, After Effects. All right, so then what else I did? I uh, changed the audio um, volume, so I went up here to the volume, and I just pulled this up, okay? And what this does is it literally just increases the volume, just makes it louder. Now, when you do that, you're gonna pick up other stuff. Like, you can hear a lot of humming and noise and stuff like that that you typically don't want. Um, so inside here, there's a lot of uh, there's a dehummer, there's a click and pop eliminator, there's a hiss reduction. So you can go through this and actually clean up your audio to a point. This is audition. This isn't some you know hundred thousand dollar program. So you're kind of limited as to what you can do. But for the most of the stuff that we're going to be um, you'll ever be playing with, uh, is typically fine. So I go to this. Hyphens, N dashes, and, and M dashes play with are frequently used punctuation marks that are just as frequently misunderstood. Hyphens, and dashes, well, and M dashes my voice are changed. frequently used punctuation marks so that like are just as frequently misunderstood. All three marks are. All three marks are. There's the Nines. Using one instead of the other would be as grammatically wrong as using a question mark in place of a comma. So you can play with some of those too if you want to. You don't need to for this. I'm just giving you the clean one, but I'm just showing you for your own recording purposes. And then here's the hiss reduction. If I um, just reset this. Although, you Although these can look slightly stylized and I told it to capture the noise floor. And what it does, it goes through and figures out where it's supposed to be um, cleaning up. Or it should be. M dash is the longest, followed by the N dash with the hyphen B. So now this has cleaned it up considerably compared to what we had a, a few minutes ago. Okay, so I did that too. And then I did some other stuff, maybe some pitch correction, I think I did on there. Um, and there was something else I did. I don't know. 
vocal enhancer. That's what I did too. Okay, and that just kind of takes the voice and just makes it a little bit um, cleaner. On the lines, though the their lengths vary, it. as do occasionally their designs. Okay, there's actually a little bit of a hiss still right there. Okay, so that's something I need to pay attention to because when I get in After Effects and I'm animating this, um, I don't want that hiss to be right there. Okay. So I'll have to make sure when I get in After Effects that I cut that off or fade it out or do whatever. It does. <laughs> so for me, I'm just going to delete that. Using one and using one and there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so let me just save that, and then I'm going to go into After Effects right there, and I'm going to bring in my footage. Now I put this in. It saved it in my documents, so I have to go grab it from there. And I put a folder in my 2200, hyphens, dashes, audio, and there's my clean audio. Desktop, drive. There we go. Okay. So now that I have this, I know that it's about 54 seconds, which is about a minute. Uh, if I want to give myself a little bit of a buffer on there, I'll go with maybe a minute, um, minute and a half or so. So 960 by 540, uh, we'll go with um, 90 seconds, which is a minute and a half. It's an easy way to type it. And hit OK. And then I can drag this down. Now, what I want to do is start to then go through this and organize it so that as I start doing my animations, I can have them linked up right to where the audio file is. Okay. So what I'm not going to do is leave the audio in one big chunk because, like I said, I may want to um, have one of the, the – audio sections playing while an animation is going and then have more of a pause than I actually do in the um, in this audio file so if I hit L twice it brings up the levels which is what we were looking at inside of audition right here now the only difference is it doesn't show the top and the bottom of this it's only showing like the halfway mark so imagine that the bottom half of this isn't there that's what it's showing is just the top half that's why it doesn't look exactly the same okay so what I'm going to do is if I hit hyphens, these hyphens and dashes and m dashes. and dashes and m dashes. Okay. Misunderstood. I know where that is. He misunderstood. All right. So that's where I want to cut it. So I'm going to go to about the center of this, and I'm just going to use my um, hotkey here: Edit, Split Layer, <coughs> Control Shift D. Oops, come on. All right. I can't use my hotkey because uh, Camtasia has that hotkey. So Control Shift D. There we go. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to put 0, 01 hyphen intro. Okay? That way I know the order. I know that's the first sentence in my thing and I know what it's talking about. Then I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to hit L twice. All three marks are essentially horizontal lines. Those essentially horizontal lines. Those All right. Using ends about here. Using So I will go and split the layer right there. Wherever your ticker is, that's where it's going to split it. And this will be zero 02, horizontal lines, cool. And then I'll go to this one, L, and I'll keep doing the same process throughout the entire thing. That way I'm basically breaking up each chunk so that as I create an animation, I can move this piece however I need to. If this first animation takes longer than 630, like I have a part where it comes in, it does its thing, and then it goes out and I want to bring something else in, I want to make sure that I have the ability to just scoot that extra piece of audio down some. Okay, so that's what you want to do is be able to do that. Now you're not going to go. Um, it's not going to be like this where you have like a 10 second clip where there's like no audio for uh, four seconds. Um, it'll be pretty close to this. It'll be just like a wiggle line that you're kind of wiggling this around just to get everything kind of uh, to that sweet spot. Okay, so you'll go throughout this entire thing. You'll split it. Instead of the other would be as grammatically wrong. The other would be as grammatically wrong. Zero three, question instead of comma. Okay. So that'll be your first part of this. So you've gone through. At, by the time you get to this part, you've gone through the script. You understand what the project is. You've gone through the audio and made sure you you've read the audio and you know what the script is for that. Um, and you have some idea of what you want to do. 
um, sketch some stuff out. So use your sketching time to actually go through and say, you know, what do I want to have happen at these certain spots? When they're talking about a um, uh, the different words like bullseye, V-formation, and freeze-dried, that's a great opportunity to be able to show those things uh, with the picture and the text next to it, okay? So those are things you want to create. Um, don't use any clip art, don't use anything you've downloaded, um, use stuff that you're creating. So if you're not great at drawing stuff in Illustrator, then don't draw stuff. But like I said, it simpler is better, right? So V-formation, you could literally draw like W's for birds and just have them like that in a V-formation kind of thing, right? Or airplanes or whatever. Uh, bullseye, obviously circles, you could do that too. Going back to like our blip assignment, you could have like the bullseye thing that we created and the blip assignment uh, thing happened too, okay? Um, cool, so I'm gonna save this into my folder. Got some dashes, Sarcona, and I'll be my first iteration, okay? So that's where you're gonna start with this one. Um, next class, I'll go over some, some tips of how you can start to do the animations and start to attack some of the other stuff. Um, just so that you have this information so that when we go on break, you're plain knowledgeable and you can work on stuff still, okay?